with dozens of doctors working in tea estates across Assam, contemplating putting in their resignations or opting for voluntary retirement. The tea management have convened emergency meetings to set up security in and around the tea estates and try and instill a sense of security and safety among the doctors. Speaking exclusively to Northeast Live, Manoj Jamwal, manager of Goodwill Tea Estate in Debrugar, said that resignations are not the solution and the tea management would surely take measures to ensure the safety of all those working in the tea estates. I had a lot of incidents of this kind, but yes, I'll say that the relations between the workers and the management is very, very important to have on that. And we should, we should always try to convey to the people, timely meetings between the workers and the management is very important. That will be a great help to every one of us. And you see the relations, as I said, awareness and the relations is very, very important among the workers and all. A lot of doctors have re resigning, which is not the answer. Where, where we are going to go? This is not the solution. Solution is that we should fight it out. We should talk to the stakeholders and in, that includes the workers. And we must make everyone aware of how we can solve this problem. And two doctors in different tea estates across the state have already resigned while three others have applied for voluntary retirement as a protest against the recent killing of a senior doctor in the tea oak tea estate by an irate mob of tea workers. Of these, Dr. Nipul Karmakar from the Sonwal Tea Estate and Dr. S. N. Singh and Dr. Lupa Das from Tata Tea's uh, Pelaguri Tea Estate have applied for voluntary retirement from their jobs. On the other hand, Dr. Ajay Kotoki from the Numoligar Tea Estate and Dr. Ravi Borwa from the Mohanbari Tea Estate in Debrugar have tendered their resignations. And reports are also coming in that other doctors working in tea garden hospitals across the state are also contemplating leaving their jobs. And if this continues, healthcare across Assam's 1,000 plus tea estates will be severely hit, leading to a huge crisis.